my channel today we're gonna learn how to make this werewolf mask and the makeup tutorial we're going to start with our face cast and some aluminum foil to do the base shape of our mouth there is a lot of tutorials on how to make your own face cast and i'm gonna leave you the link here on the video as you can see i'm building the base of the prosthetics and using aluminum is going to help us to build that shape in a faster way. So when you have something that looks like this, you're ready to cover it with cotton and latex. For this step, I'm just using regular cotton balls and soaking them on latex and then applying them to cover all the aluminum foil. I'm also doing some details like the nose using my hands as tools and I'm also going to build a piece for my forehead that I'm going to use to cover all my eyebrows. The good thing about using your face cast is that you can actually imagine how it's going to look on your face. And my prosthetic shape is almost finished. I'm adding some final details using a spatula and looking at pictures through Google. We are going to let it dry overnight, at least 24 hours, and when it's completely dry, we can start working on it. I'm going to start with some fake teeth, and for that I'm using fake nails and shaping them in a form of a triangle. And then using hot glue, I'm just going to glue them into the mouth. To become a werewolf, I'm using this kit from Marin. It comes with everything that we need, like hairs, paint, a spirit gum, and more. I'm going to paint it before I put it on my face and before I take it off of the cast. So it's easier for me to work with. And I'm painting the gums pink with a mirror paradise paint. And I'm also covering all of the prosthetics with this cream paint that we're gonna set after with some translucent powder from Marin. I wasn't happy about my nose, so I'm using this nail polish from Kat Von D to make that nose really shiny. And I'm also using this Lovecraft nail polish from Kat Von D also to paint the gums. And I thought that this pink, dark, pale, all rosy color, I don't know how to call it, was more gums alike than the pink that I had before. Using the same technique of the nail polish, I'm using a pale yellowish color to paint the teeth and make them more like a bone color or teeth color. Time to take these out of the face cast and for that we're going to pull the corner and use some powder under it. You can use baby powder, flour or translucent powder. And this is just to keep the latex from sticking to itself. Also be careful when you're taking it off because we don't want to rip it off. And just be patient. It will come out easy. I promise you. Just keep doing it and don't forget to use powder every time you pull out a little bit of it. Now with some scissors, we're going to cut the holes for our eyes and trim the edges. And now it's application time, my favorite part of all the tutorial. So we're going to start putting our contact lenses. And using the black paint from the kit, we're going to paint our eyes and our mouth. We're going to apply spirit gum on our forehead, nose, and cheeks. And when it's sticky, it's ready for putting our mask. Before putting my mask, I also put some spirit gum on it. And now that everything is sticky, it's ready to be glued to our face. 
I also wanted to check if I could move my lips and yes I can and now we're gonna integrate this mask to our skin by putting some paint the same paint that we used to paint our prosthetic and we're gonna paint all over it to make this easier I will be using this hairspray all over my hairline and now that we have a base we're gonna use the hair that comes in the kit by applying some spirit gum to make that sticky base and of course, I wouldn't be a werewolf without a hairy chest. We're going to cut a piece of that hair and then pull it apart. And this is the easiest part. Just glue it to your spray gum and it's going to stay there. You can put as many hair you want if you want to be really hairy or not. And I'm also using this spray on top of the hair to integrate all the colors of my wolf. We put our hoodie up. For final touches and this is the final look if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and you can leave in the comments what would you like to see on my next tutorials see you next time bye bye